Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tanner from Tanman Baseball Fan and CansecoCollector.com. I have been meaning to show everybody a run of my base cards and insert cards. It's a really cool collection. I wanted to call out a few of the neat ones. I also wanted to show you kind of like how I displayed everything as well. Uh, some people have been asking about them, so here it is. Uh, I have them all in binders here. And uh, while I'm here, I'll show you some of my customs, I guess. I have displayed. I'll, I'll do another video of those at some point, but this is my base and insert collection. So I'll show you kind of the binders. They've got custom graphics on the front and the back. Can you see pictures of me and my son and Kinseiko in the background there? And on the side, it's all branded TamanBaseballFan.com, my caricature, of course. So they've got some neat snaps on the side here, and it's from Unikeep. So you go to unikeep.com, U-N-I-K-E-E-P.com, uh, -E -E and you can actually do custom graphics and everything. So it's really kind of a kind of a neat deal. Uh, it keeps the dust out of uh, the pages, and it, they don't bow either. So that's kind of a that's a great thing. So what I did with my collection here is I put them in alphabetical order by maker than by year. And, uh, you know, so you see even, like for instance, this is uh, from 2018. So, you know, it's basically everything. I think I'm missing maybe 15 or 20 cards out of the whole thing. There are base cards and there are base inserts in, in here as well. So, um, and as we go through, some of the pockets will be missing like in the middle where there's like a card here and card here, but not here. That means I'm missing it. So, uh, this just right here means that there's no more classic cards. So for the, from that uh, run, but they're all neat cards. Um, but I do want to show and call out a few of my favorites here. So obviously, you know, the Raider rookie, everybody knows that one. Um, 89 Donners, a lot of, a lot of different 89 Donners cards. Grand Slammers. That's one of my favorites. Um, I remember I learned on this card, uh, when I was younger to not, right on a sleeve when the card is actually in it because I actually put the uh, uh, it indented the pen writing right here on the card as well so <laughs> learned a learned a hard lesson that day on my 91 Donner Screen Slammers Canseco cards so uh, there's some really neat inserts here uh, that they came out with and they're actually very inexpensive as well so that's kind of a cool thing so all my you know higher end stuff is in my uh, suitcase here I'll show that more in depth later as well um, but right now we're just focusing on the base I'll call out a few of the cards here so this for instance round numbers Donner's Elite if it'll yeah there we go love how it shines very nice card I think it's number about 500 yeah 500 so not an expensive card not an expensive card at all, but let me put this down real quick. I'll put it back. Okay. I'm gonna quickly move until move through these until I find something I like here. So this is probably my favorite base card of all time. 1999 EX, I think. It's a clear card. It's got some refractive uh, refractive finish finishing on the name and the background and everything. It is a beautiful card. Um, again, it's probably my favorite base card ever. Um, and it looks a lot better than the expensive parallels as well. So, you yeah, know, that's always a, always a plus. Of course you have like the die cut exciting card there. Then some flare. Love the 93 flare. That's probably my favorite out of all the flares. Just not, you know, not a valuable card, but, you know, it's beautiful. Then you have the Fleer box set cards. This one right here, I have many childhood memories about that. It's one of my favorites. Um, I love that card. <laughs> I really do. It's, uh, and this card here, this actually had uh, three variations on it, um, where there's a line at the top. And at the bottom and no line at all. Well, I don't do variations anymore, so I just have that one. A couple A6 Fleer rookies. This one is a wax box bottom. There's a gray back and white back. I have the gray back. That's the most common one. Not looking into getting everything anymore, so. 
it's nice to have a representation of each one though you know what I mean I mean it's uh, works out nicely that way for me anyway and we have some leaf some of my favorites are in leaf here like this one I really like this one this is a wood card and I think it's numbered out of 5,000 yeah and it's wood it's it's a really cool card I love this one and also the one next to it here that's a got a die cut star I never really noticed it when I was super collecting <laughs> just didn't really care too much so I like the finish on that one So that's all for this binder. Show some more of uh, what's here. We have the Skybox cards and uh, Mother's Cookies cards. Oh, I can't tell you how much I love these. Love Mother's Cookies cards. I'm actually missing the Canseco Reggie Jackson because I sold that one out of everything else and I decided to keep the rest. So looking to get it back now. Um, OPG Pacific. This is when you get into the Pacific stuff, this is probably some of my favorites um, out of all these binders. I'm missing uh, one of these guys. I think it's uh, uh, maybe it's a Juan Gonzalez in Canseco. I think that's it. Anyway, so the further you get into this, the cooler the cards are. I mean, you have like the die cut in the upper left. This is a beautiful card too. I'm just gonna, I'll leave it in there, but man, I mean, look at that. It's a 1995, I can't even pronounce it. You know, a lot of them are in Spanish, so. Um, so this one's really cool. I think it's in October moments, maybe. Pacific was really heavy in like doing a bunch of cool things with their cards. Um, so, yeah, it's really neat. So, this one's cool too. Um, sluggers and Hurlers. Some of these are hard to come by. Like, a lot harder than you think base cards would be to come by. Um, but they they used so many different uh, technologies. Like, this is kind of a translucent background. By the way, I showed this on video earlier. Let me see if I can find this again. Um... Yeah, okay, so this is called a card supial card. The back, that's actually a mini card that's tucked in kind of like a kangaroo pouch. I never knew that existed up until like maybe a month ago or so. So that's kind of neat. It's one of my favorites here. See, I love how like, you know, you can see through this they did like a real neat like laser cut on this card it's pretty darn hard to find also um, but I mean you know, just look how how nice looking these are they're pretty wild this is the checklist and it's got some like a refractory kind of holographic foil there so this is another one of my favorites I have to show you look at that how cool is that so you know it's some of these are a little more pricey um, but because they're base and not like super, super expensive, I figure I'd go ahead and include them. This has wood right here. It's a wood insert. And then, I mean, you know, just look at the artwork. It's really cool. There's, I love Pacific from these years. Okay. And then we go into, uh, Pinnacle. That's really cool. And it's like the... You know, one of the first ones that uh, Dufex was used for Conseco. Um, again, I don't have any parallels or anything like that in, in here. So I have a couple museum and ours proofs, but they're not in this binder or anything. Score. I did decide to do a couple um, promos. You know, like this is the promo, I think, or the sample. Yeah. Score, score, score. When I sold out my collection the first time, uh, this is one of the cards I decided to keep because it's just a beautiful card. 
I love when you can see through them and just think it's really, really kind of a cool, cool deal they did. So holographics, uh, hollow view, I guess is what it's called. Die cut. This is kind of a cool one. Bonds on one side, McGuire on the other can take in the middle. So I really appreciate all the ingenuity and all the creativity they had back then. I think it's really, really something really fun. So sport flicks, of course, everybody remembers sport flicks. Stadium Club. Again, this is one that's really neat also because it's got the laser cut there. And this is one of my favorites as well. It's uh, etched foil all over, just bright and loud. Love it. More Stadium Club. This is a wood one, which I like. It's got the die cut as well. Studio. Got less than three minutes to go through the last one here, so... We'll try to make this quick. It's probably the biggest binder too, so. <laughs> okay. Topps box sets. Topps Kids, Toys R Us, Alan Ginner. Probably gonna pick up the blacks at some point. I've got a couple of them, Alan Ginner X uh, Tech. See, I'm missing a few there. I don't, going, I'm not going to go through the entire run. Finest, finest, Gypsy Queen Gallery, Gold Label. Yeah, I'm not interested in going for all the autographs or game use cards. I'm just having fun doing this stuff here and picking up the other ones I like. Tops Chrome. Tops Chrome. Tops Chrome. More tops. Flare Ultra, another wood card. Love that. Looking for the Flare Ultra Home Run Kings or uh, Thunderclap, rather. Um, yeah, that's why that's blank there. Upper deck. I've got the gold medallion, but I'm looking for the regular. So a couple awesome holograms. Upper deck. Die cut. Upper Deck did some really neat stuff too, but uh, Ultra is one of my favorites also, by the way. So then, you know, when Kinsega came back out with cards, they had some goofy stuff like this, which is really kind of <laughs> kind of a bizarre deal. And then at the end, you have like some of the oddball ones I wanted to keep. I didn't want to get everything I had before, but uh, yeah, I wanted to keep the A3. I'm looking for the Chong's one still for 84, low league card. Just a few of my favorites in the back. So anyways. All right, well, we made it. That is the entire run of what I have so far as far as base and base inserts go. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.